still can't believe Crystal's gone. She's my last best hope of finding out who my parents are. It's a damn shame. Crystal told me at the club that she was going to get some papers that would explain everything. I just didn't know what she meant at the time. She told me those papers would give me information I wanted about my parents. Well, it's possible that Crystal had them on her when she was shot. What you need could be with her personal effects, the stuff that we collected for safety. I'll go check in the evidence bag. If Crystal had any information on your parents with her when she died, it would be in that evidence bag. Keith, why do you have the evidence bag? Eve, why are you looking through the evidence bag? Oh, I am trying to make sure that the bag was properly sealed. Dr. Russell, Crystal might have had some information about my parents on her when she died. Yeah, I offered to look inside the evidence bag along with the personal effects. Oh, by all means, go ahead. Well, I don't have any idea what Crystal could have known about Chad's parents. I'm sorry, Chad, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Crystal said she knew secrets that would destroy lives in harmony. But I assumed it had to do with who Chad's parents were. Nothing in here. Uh, Crystal's handbag, her scarf, and her other personal effects. Whatever information she had about your parents, it's not here. Now it looks like I'm back where I started. Nowhere. I'll never find out who my parents are in there. Chad, I'm sorry. I know that you were counting on Crystal to give you that information. Well, I wouldn't throw in the towel just yet. I mean, it's possible when we investigate the murder that we could turn up something that may help you. Crystal may have had more than one copy of the stuff uh, she was planning to give you. Hey, babe, what do you have there? Well, this envelope just has some forms in it that I need to fill out. Part of my job is medical examiner. Well, as long as you're okay. Why wouldn't I be? Sam, you got a minute? Yeah. I'm really worried about Eve. She's been so stressed out lately. Everything is starting to take its toll. Yeah, Grace is pretty worried about her as well. I mean, Eve won't admit it, but being this whole medical examiner, on top of everything else, is just really starting to work on her. I mean, Sam, do you think you can find somebody else to take over and, until this whole thing blows over? Of course. Consider it done. Yeah, thanks a lot. I mean, I don't know why, but the death of Crystal is really hitting her hard. I mean, she's been so preoccupied, she didn't even see Whitney leave with Chad. I don't think it would have done any good. The way I saw Whitney act towards Chad earlier, I think she likes him. And it's pretty evident he likes her, too. I think Chad may be Whitney's first boyfriend. That Eve would have a meltdown if that happens. Hey, hey. What about you? Sammy, I'm okay with it, all right? As long as it doesn't interfere with her tennis career. I mean, Chad's a good kid. I mean, I like him. And in light of everything that's happening with his parents... Besides, listen, man, I just want my daughters to be happy. And if Whitney and Chad hook up and have some type of connection, what harm can come from it, huh? Sweetheart, are you ready to go? Yes, honey. I'm ready to go now. 